thanking you, everyone, for coming along to join this evening in this celebration of the life and work of Graham Smith. Very unusual start for an organisation and very little money. There will be a collection in which we'll ask people to contribute for causes nominated by Graham himself. My name is Leonie Ebert. Graham Smith was my husband. The Peace Foundation started when Graham and I were discussing funeral arrangements. We decided to ask for donations in lieu of flowers at my husband's funeral. And that money went in to set up the Peace Foundation. He was a teacher. He was very involved about Aboriginal people and their rights and refugees and their rights. He used to organise moratorium marches and they used to be huge. He felt that working for peace shouldn't be just left to a few, it's everybody's business. The first prize we awarded went to a folk festival to put on a peace concert. Graham always believed that you need to touch people's heart and then um, through education connect with their mind. Well it started when I wrote a play. Well we're talking about 2003. It was a time when people were very much afraid of terrorism but people who were innocent were being locked up. I was concerned about the treatment of David Hicks in Guantanamo Bay, an Australian being held without trial, um, and so I wrote a play about it. I felt very alone um, in writing this play, and that's where the, the Peace Foundation came in, because they believed in this as an important piece of work. It gave me the power to say, OK, yes, we can do it. It also had the chance to become a, a feature film. So it's had a bigger reach because the Peace Trust and the Peace Foundation supported it right from the beginning. There's so many projects. There's too many from, from my little mind to come up with them <laughs> all together. So I've got a few um, notes here that might help. We had an amazing exhibition called The Dignity of Labour and it was the work of Wolfgang Sievers. We did peace posters with Breakdown Press. Oh, um, the film on the banks of the Tigris was amazing. If we are Jews or Christian or Muslim, it doesn't matter. The music is the connection. The Adelaide Fringe. The common ground between the Peace Foundation and the Adelaide Fringe is very strong. We both have a commitment to encouraging artists to address issues such as human rights, environmental sustainability, social justice, and that's always been something the Adelaide Fringe has celebrated. In recent years, we've had a Peace Award. It makes such a difference to these artists who are tackling really difficult subjects and without the Peace Foundation we wouldn't have an award that would acknowledge the excellence in this strand at the Fringe. I can't underline enough how um, even small awards and small grants do make such a difference. In 2011, No Strings Attached in partnership with Curry Yellow were the recipients of the Graham F. Smith Foundation Award. Now, the group that I work with, a vast group of beautiful, amazing, resilient and strong First Nations Aboriginal people with disabilities. You know, people with disability and First Nations people with disability, you know, where that's a lot of oppression. And to be able to go back to art and culture to, to share our voice as part of our healing and our celebration of life is so imperative. Well, first of all, that's the first like big award I've ever been a part, a part of. But it was such a um, moving moment for me, knowing that this is really important work. It absolutely encouraged me to keep going because it, that's, uh, that sense of um, 
feeling like the work that you're doing is worthwhile and that people want to invest in that um, made me feel believed in. I got involved with the Graham Smith Peace Foundation in 1998 and that was to do with an artwork that was going to be placed in the Festival Theatre which was done and finished in 2002 and then depicted our dreaming stories and, and it was there visible and showed that we were around the place. In relation to the Ghana sculptures, we also did a Ghana walk about the Ghana people and their dreaming. Before that, there was no indication that Ghana people were ever around in the city because we didn't have anything, you know, to mark and share the space, and that's what it was all about. Nagasaki sculpture that was made by the Anangu Aboriginal people in Maralinga and the sculpture then was presented to the Nagasaki Park in remembrance of the, the survivors of the nuclear bomb. So I see that way of art touching the heart and then getting, engaging the mind. On and on it goes. Lots. <laughs> Lots of work. <laughs>was an invitation to all secondary schools. The question is, what can I do to contribute to peace through the arts? Many of us have been quite astounded at the passion that young people have about a more peaceful future and a more sustainable earth. If I could mention a group of young men from Parry Hills High School, it was such a powerful performance a lot of those young people have come from war-torn countries and they were standing up for peace. The Peace Foundation is supporting our next generation to put forward their ideas on their earth because it's going to be theirs very soon. I'm very proud of what the Foundation has become, I think. Uh, working with amazing volunteers, we've really done an amazing amount of work. We've been able to fund uh, artists or artist groups to get messages of peace, human rights, environmental sustainability and social justice. It's quite a rare thing to, to, um, have, to have that power to um, give people another view of the world. Well, I thought it was great because of their philosophy, you know, reconciliation to art. I thought that's a nice way to go about things. There's a lot of things can be represented to art. What is a world without art? What is a world without story? It's such a humbling and beautiful gift to be able to share and celebrate. We both have a commitment to support these artists, but it makes such a difference. He would never have expected to be named after him uh, because he was a very unassuming person but he would be really happy with the work we've done. The inspiration for my life, my dreams, have been made up of peace and socialism, of solidarity, of liberation, of loving and caring. And I've got a secret for you too. It hasn't finished yet.